Hello there everyone, I'm UXW Bill with a fun little fact for you. Did you know that more people are keeping their computers for longer and longer than ever before? That's right! No longer is there such an incredible drive to upgrade every two, three, five, sometimes even ten years, because that old computer is still working perfectly well. Unfortunately, there is most definitely a darker side to all of this. The computer manufacturers, who are dependent upon continued computer sales to remain solvent, are of course co-conspiring with web developers everywhere to include more Flash, more JavaScript in their web pages than ever before. And they're probably colluding with the browser makers too to make it all more slower. I think I ought to hire some writers. But maybe you like your current computer system. You don't want to upgrade. You know where all your things are. You know how to use the software that you have. You know how to avoid the pitfalls of your current system. So why should you bother learning something new? Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't have to, thanks to the magic of overclocking. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Now, if you ask the internet community at large about overclocking, you'll get a lot of different schools of thought and opinions about it hereafter referred to entirely as Balderdash. Because believe me, in order to overclock successfully, you do not need one kilowatt power supplies, video cards the size of Texas, quad core microprocessors, water cooling loops, the heat pipes, and ground effect neon for your computer case. All that stuff is implicitly true, but only by virtue of the fact that you heard about it on the internet. And of course, everything that you read, see, hear, or otherwise ingest via the internet is of course true. This real answer to overclocking is a lot simpler than you'd think, and it works with any kind of computer that you may have. Now it's time to look around your house for the things that you'll need. The first thing to find is a wall clock. The bigger, the better. But we recommend against using too big of a clock, like a grandfather clock, because in the case of system instability, a major crash may be the result. The next thing you'll need to look for is a 6-volt lantern battery. Just remember that the computer manufacturer's cartel is all-powerful and all-knowing. If they get wind of what you're up to, they may hide the battery in a place you would never expect to look. Finally, find yourself some computer-grade data wire and attach it to the clock. Attach the clock very firmly to your computer. Attach the wires from the clock to your 6-volt battery. This will make the clock run faster as now the clock is running from four times its normal operating voltage. You're almost ready! Now, if you're the curious sort of person, by that I mean the type who has to urinate on the electrical fence or touch it for themselves, you might be asking yourself exactly how all of this works and how it can possibly be used to overclock any type of personal computer, or in fact any sort of electronic or electromechanical device. The answer is simplicity itself. It relies on two miraculous attributes of electricity and magnetism. Loose coupling and inductive pickup. And now you're done. Enjoy your much faster computer. At least until all your software automatically upgrades itself. Wow, this thing is really running fast! Speeding ticket. If you do this, you could get electrocuted. And stay tuned next time when I show you how to improve your Wi-Fi signal strength on a MacBook Pro.